Good evening everyone, this is Toxinos Philippines giving you your top gamer and user analysis for April 19, 2017. This is not a stock recommendation, we encourage you to consider your own financial tools, investment horizon, and risk tolerance when you make an investment decision. We cover the top 5 gamers and losers in the premium version of this report. Please visit www. At stocksignals.ph slash services to learn more about our services. Let's start. So your top winner for the day is LMG. So there was actually a spike today. It broke above short-term resistance at... Uh, let's clear the goals first. Uh, short-term resistance at around... Uh, COL is displaying an error there. There. So short term resistance was expected at 6.50, a uh, 5.59. So it was able to punch through. So the next resistance would have been around this area, around 5.97, which is. The closing price today it actually closed the gap up here. Uh, next resistance would be around 6.40, while your support is 5.60. Uh, moving over this, are turning and now pointing upwards, and it's possible for 15 and 20 SMA to do a bullish crossover versus the 50 SMA. Volume is now expanding, MACD is. Uh, or appears to be making a bullish crossover. RSI is pointing upwards, but it's not overbought yet. Fundamentally, uh, the stock has actually nothing. It has negative earnings. It's also trading at 4.89 times price to book value, which is quite expensive. The only thing that triggered the spike today was a disclosure today, wherein. Uh, there was a disposition of shares of stock. The board of directors of CIP Philippines has approved the sale of its 65.92% stake in the company. So basically, this is what triggered the spike today. Their top user is OPMB doesn't have volume as well as OPM, so it's uh, MA. Yeah, it's MA, money level. Okay, again, as we've talked about this one previously, it's just a range. Uh, it's a range between 0 0.011 to 0 0.012. So, well, the strategy would be to actually uh, put GTC orders, buy at support, sell at resistance. MACD is still bearish, uh, RSI is uh, neutral to bearish. Fundamentally, the stock also has negative earnings, so uh, there should be nothing much. PE wise, stock is trading at 1.1 price to book value, which is which makes it trading fairly. So that's the only good thing about it. So again, that was your top winner and user analysis for April 19, 2017. This is not a stock recommendation and we encourage you to consider your own financial goals, investment horizon, and risk tolerance when you make an investment decision. We cover the top 5 gamers and losers in the premium version of this report. Please visit www.stocksignals.ph slash services to learn more about our services. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful evening.